members say the Freedom Institute is a way to combat cancel culture, but critics of Governor call it a big waste of your tax dollars. In January, protests at New College after Governor Ron DeSantis appointed six new conservative members to the Board of Trustees. Now, more controversy on campus. The DeSantis Pick Board wants lawmakers to approve two million in funding. According to a memo, they'll hire eight people to set up a Freedom Institute. The institute will offer courses and hold events across the state to promote tolerance of opposing views. It's a problem, according to trustee Chris Rufo. He spoke with Eight on Your Side soon after his appointment. People of all racial backgrounds, people of different sexual orientations, my promise is that you're gonna be treated with equal dignity, your individual rights will be protected. It's fiscally irresponsible and it feeds into the culture wars. That State Rep Anna Eskamani, a Democrat, says the Freedom Institute is nothing more than a waste of tax dollars, as is, in her view, the potential salary and benefits for the school's incoming president. Trustees just approved a total compensation range up to $1.5 million. Salary should reflect the size of the institution. So this is grifting to the max. I do think that Richard Corcoran, as someone who has done favors for the governor, uh, will maintain his position as president. The school's interim president is former House Speaker Richard Corcoran. Later this summer, we'll find out if he stays on the job. If he does, he could get 500000 more than the president of USF. Her total compensation is about $1 million. His could be 500000 more. Note, USF has 50 times more students. And I did request to speak with Mr. Corcoran. Now, the total compensation for the former president of New College was about $418,000. She was ousted by the new DeSantis-picked board. Back to the Freedom Institute, lawmakers still have to 